A woman in Belmopan shot an assailant later identified as 49-year-old Ronald Gibson Saturday night while she and her teenage daughter were walking in Independence Park. The woman reported they were approached by a man wearing a hoodie who tried to attack her daughter. That woman is Gilda Abadi, who is still shaken by the incident. Today she sat down with our colleagues at Plus TV and said they were returning home from a football game. Wasn't walking in the middle of the walkway. I mean, he was walking in the middle of the walkway, you know, just, I mean, and then I said to my daughter, come to my right, you know, come to my right. I said, give him space to go. But he refuses, he refused to go on his, on his side. So he came towards my daughter, a very close range. I mean, a very close and he, he grabs something from behind and they make a motion to, you know, after, and stop after my daughter. And my daughter just went with her hands up high like this and said, Ma, that's when I, I already had my firearm on my side and I pushed her on the side. And I, I, know, I didn't have a bullet in it, as I said. And one of the things that I, I well, as soon as I pushed her, he came charging after I, call, I yelled at him three times, back off back off, back off, and I came back a little bit, and that's when I had cocked my gun and I shot. He left me no choice than to just do that. While he was down, I, he just picked up himself and ran, and at the same time I had to comfort my daughter, you know, um, with her ear ringing because it was very loud, you know, and, and that's when he took off. So while we were there, we, we made a phone call through my daughter's phone, phone to, to the 9-11, um, which they, they, I gave them the information to where we were and what happened. And they didn't come right away. We waited about 10 to 15 minutes, I would say. Then I said to my daughter, let's go, because I saw the guy run off by the park, which is a very dark area. It's a man's world, they say, no? And one of the things that I think I was happy that I had a husband that would think of my safety also. And he would be able to, to say, hey, you're not alienated from having the, the, the experience and also having the, um, the discipline as how you, you know, having a firearm is not for anyone, you know. And for women, I think we're looked at, you know, they're not strong enough. The police met a body at home, then took them back to the scene and then to the police station to file a report. She has since been given back her firearm. Abadi says the situation is very disconcerting and traumatic, particularly as she was told the assailant does not live far away from her. She noted that she has had a gun license since 2010 and had never had to use it until now. She calls for better lighting in the area.